Okay. Okay. We're going to do a capability analysis spread. Mm -hmm. We're going to open our Excel spreadsheet with the data. And I'm all I'm going to do is copy one column of data. And this is the height of cookies. And then go back to mini tab. Paste my data. And also I'll put in the header of what that information is. And then go back to my spreadsheet again. This time I'm going to grab some more data, which is weight of cookies. Go back to mini tab. Paste my data. And enter weight. Okay, hang on a second. I gotta grab my uh, parameters. All right, in order to do a capability study, you're going to need to know your min and max ranges of whatever specification that you're dealing with. Right now, we're going to go up to stat, quality tools, capability six pack, and normal. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the height first. So I'm going to click on height, select it. I want a subgroup size of one. I want to compare each single one. The lower spec for height for the data that we're using is 9.75 millimeters. So I'm going to put that in the lower spec. And the upper spec for this height is 12.25 millimeters. And that's all I have to do, and click OK. And up pops my capability chart. So I'm going to minimize this for now, and we'll come back to it. I'm going to go ahead and do the weight. So again, I'm going to go to Stat. I'm going to go to Quality Tools, over to Capability 6-Pack, to Normal. This time I'm going to choose Weight by clicking on it, and Select. Again, I'm leaving the subgroup size at 1. I need to change my lower spec to 32 grams for weight and 36 for the upper spec and click OK. And here's a capability chart. Now we're going to look at this, Fred. Mm -hmm. OK, let's go to the weight one first and I'm going to blow it up. All this is is the individual chart, which is the graph of each of those data points that was in my spreadsheet, and this would be the mean of those data points. The moving range is this the difference between each point. I don't use this part, and the histogram is what I use the most. Here's my lower spec limit that I put in, and the upper spec limit over here, the 32 and 36. As you can see, it has kind of some odd distribution with some tailors out here on the high end. So we would like a little bit better weight distribution obviously within the upper and lower spec limits. So down here I use the CP which is what the process is capable of which is 0.53 and the CPK how we're meeting our specs or what the customer wants is 0.39 for the weight which is driven by this variability in the outliers. And over here you have standard deviation of 1.2. Those are what I use up. So I'm thinking that's not particularly oh. good, is it? No. It is not it is not good, Fred, because normally you would want these values to be one or above. Okay. Right. Okay. Now I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna pop open the height. Again my individual data points, the moving range between each data point. As you can see here, I have a lot better distribution within my lower spec limit and upper spec limit. This just is a beautiful picture. I use that with the vendors to show them if they've never used uh, any, date, any um, capability studies before. So here, the process is definitely capable of producing this specific spec 
because it's over 1. It's 1.09. Mm -hmm. What we'd like is this middle to be shifted over just a tad bit, not much. 0.92 CPK is very good. Obviously, 1 or above is what we're looking for. So they're almost there with a little bit of shift down more towards the center. And the standard deviation of only 0.36. So this is very good for our facility, actually, for this cookie. The height, they have the height and control, need to work a little bit on the weight. And then how would you save this now, this project? Oh, I would go up here, well, I'll minimize this again, in the bottom one. So I'm going to go File. save as and wherever I want to save it to my desktop and what I would call this is cookie analysis on 321 2011 and save and there it is simple as that yep